let's start designing the checkout pages. And I say pages because we have a few different scenarios here. So let's start with the case where the user gets to the checkout but isn't logged in. Let's begin by duplicating this page, the cart page, and we'll call it checkout. All right, now on this top part, uh, the indicator stays at the cart item. Uh, but in here, we're going to change this to checkout. And we're going to delete this table and the total and the BTN primary. Okay, so what do we need here? Well, the user is not logged in. So obviously, when we go to checkout, uh, we need to direct him or we need to present to him a login form. Uh, for the actual format, we're going to use something um, similar to the shop theme single. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's actually allow for some more space here. Let's move the footer further down. And let's move this further down. All right, so now we can begin. Uh, we'll go to shop theme single. And we'll grab two elements from here, we'll grab this uh, description BG plus the text inside. Actually, let's just grab the description uh, altogether and the product info card. So bring those paste them in, make sure they align with the uh, with the grid. And then place them correctly in the page like this, get rid of the rating, we don't need it. Uh, in here, we're going to say something like login. And in here, we'll say something like to submit an order, you must log in or create a new account. Now create a new account will actually be a link and will lead to a page that we're going to create later on. Now this bit is will prob will be a cart summary, basically. So we're going to have the cart total, plus all the items in the cart plus a subtotal, and then an option for a discount code, and finally a button for placing the order. So what don't we need from here, we don't need the image and the mask, we don't need this bit. Instead, we're going to move it up. And we're going to say cart total. And we're going to use the style h6 left. Let's bring this up to 60 pixels from the top. And then we need this bit. And then we need this bit as well. It needs to be positioned like this. And in here, we'll actually have the contents of the cart. And on the right side, we're going to have their the price basically. So uh, we're simply going to copy what we have here in the main cart, along with its prices and put it here. All right, there we go. Just some uh, random numbers there. And then underneath here, we need another uh, separator. So for this, I'm just going to copy this uh, thick HR. And I'm just going to make it one pixel in height. And then I'm going to delete this button and the live demo. And then underneath, I'm going to copy these. And I'm going to have the following subtotal, taxes, discount, and total. And these will be using the muted text color. And these, well, they'll just be using the normal one. So if we don't have taxes, we'll just put a hyphen in there. Same goes for discount and the total, let's do like 76. And we'll do bold. All right, now what about a discount code? Well, for that, uh, let's go ahead and use a rectangle like this. And we'll make it 345 by 60. Light BG as its style, let's call this discount BG. And inside we're going to put a text that says use a discount code. Only this will be regular italic. And it's going to use the primary color like that. Let's align this properly. And then in addition to this, we can also add an arrow, right? So something like this, this is just uh, a navigation arrow turned 
90 degrees to the right, basically. Let's just put like 15 pixels here. We'll call this chevron right. Finally, we'll group these three as discount. And then underneath, we're going to have the place order button. So just insert a symbol, primary default. Yeah, we're gonna bring it here. And we're gonna exclude the text value from symbol. And we're gonna say place order. There we go. And then we need to make uh, this background a little bigger, 30 pixels bigger actually, taller, like that. And the final thing is to group this and make it 50% in uh, opacity because this is a disabled button. We don't, we're not logged in yet, so we cannot place the order. Now for the login part, let's go ahead and create a login form. That's uh, really easy to do. We already have uh, form fields that we can use. For example, this email address here, along with the um, sign up button. So copy those and paste them in here, position it properly, and we'll ask for an email address. Let's uh, group these as input. Let's create another one for password. And then the sign up button will actually be called login. All right. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's go ahead and move this up and then move the footer up. And with that, we've completed the first page of our checkout stage, the page where the user is not logged in. But what happens if the user wants to add a discount code? Well, for that, um, actually, it's quite simple. Let's uh, duplicate our artboard here. This will be checkout, enter discount. This will be checkout, not logged in. So we know what these refer to. And the only change that we'll make is here, where instead of this icon, we'll be using an X like this. It's again, an icon that I took from Fong Awesome, uh, and it uses the AD4B3C color. Now this one just, I'm gonna put here at 30 pixels right in the middle, and I'm gonna replace this text with type the code and hit enter. So we're making it really easy for people to add um, a discount code. So the first step, you click on this link, this whole text box transforms into this where you type in the code, you hit enter, and the discount is applied right here, where it says discount. Okay, and that's it for the screens of the checkout page where the user is not logged in. All right, with this out of the way, let's see what happens when the user is logged in. That's coming up next.